welcome back to my channel today I'm going to show you guys how I made my DIY black seed with aloe vera hair gel trust me you don't want to miss this So what I went ahead and did is um, we have a big, large aloe vera plant and I cut two stalks off of the plant. And what I'm doing here is basically just cutting off of the outer parts of the aloe vera just so I can get to the gel. And for all my YouTubers that told me that aloe vera gel doesn't have a smell, you all lied to me. This stuff smells like armpit and booty sweat. And I was so disgusted with the smell. I didn't even want it on my hands. It took me a minute before I could even touch the aloe vera plant. But eventually I got, I got brave enough and I went ahead and handled it. As you can see, it's a very slimy consistency and you're just gonna continue to cut all the outer layer off of the aloe vera plant. Now I've seen some cut off both sides, but I didn't really want to do that. So I just decided to keep cutting one layer off and then I would pretty much just scrape the gel off of the other side. So I'll show you in just a second how to get that gel off of that plant. Okay, so you see I have a spoon and I put the plant inside of the bowl and just basically dig that gel out of that plant until you get it all off of the stalk. And that's pretty much all I did. Um, there wasn't any other tricks or gimmicks to getting it out. I just kind of scrape it out till I get it all off. And like I said, it is a sticky, slimy consistency, but it's fairly easy to get it off. So you don't have to worry about putting in any extra labor just to get it out. All right, so the gel is scraped off of the stalk and what you're gonna do next is whisk it for about five minutes until you get a smooth gel consistency. Once it's smooth and there's not much clumps, then it's about ready to go. All right, so the aloe vera gel is mostly, it's about, well, I give about 85% smoothed out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to whisk it a little bit more till I can get it exactly smooth the way I want it um, it literally is like whisking some scrambled eggs and you just go in there and beat it up real quick and beat it up as long as you feel like you need to and voila you have hair gel but of course that's not all we're going to be using for this gel so stay tuned Alrighty, so we're working on the flaxseed now. So you're gonna need your flaxseed, of course. Uh, some people use one fourth cup. I don't remember how much I put, but I got enough. You need your strainer, 
or a pantyhose I forgot to show on here which I do show later in the video you're gonna need two cups of water so that you can boil your flaxseed in of course and then you're gonna need a sealed jar any type of sealed jar mason small doesn't matter You're gonna pour your two cups of water inside of your pot with your flaxseed and set it up for to boil. And then you're gonna go ahead and turn your stove up on medium to high heat. So I did about five, maybe six, like right in between. And you're gonna let it boil from seven to 10 minutes. All right, the flaxseed is boiling and as I'm stirring it, as you can see, when I lift the spoon, it's gonna have like a slimy, mucusy like consistency and that's how you know your flaxseed is ready and it's done boiling. So you can either let it cool or you can pour it immediately. Honestly, considering this is my first time making it, I was scared to pour, uh, pour it instantly into the strainer, into a measuring cup, because I didn't want to burn myself, and I didn't know, you know, I just didn't know what would happen. So I let it cool a little bit. As you can see, it's very slimy, mucusy, thick-like. You see how the seeds just sit in the gel? And I'm just steady letting this boil when I need to be taking it off, but it's ready. <laughs> and I will show you what we're supposed to do next. this is where the pantyhose comes in so you're gonna need a pantyhose and you're gonna wrap that around your little bowl or your little measuring cup I chose to use a bowl I've seen a lot of people use measuring cups I guess I can see why because of the height but I decided to go ahead and just use the little glass bowl that I have here and put that around there and take your spoon and scoop the flaxseed gel out of the pot and put it inside of the pantyhose or stocking cap or strainer, whichever you decide to use. And um, I would say fill it up on this pantyhose as much as you can handle. Don't fill it up too much because then it'll be a lot harder to strain it out of it. So I only did so much at a time. Believe me, there was still quite a bit of flaxseed in that pot, believe it or not. I also let it cool way too long, so I had to put warm water in it just to loosen it up some more just so I can squeeze it out of there. So guys, don't let it sit too long because it will get super thick and then it'll be hard. So what I'm doing here now is I'm squeezing it out of the pantyhose. And honestly, at first, it was like literally the flaxseed in the gel just moving up and down as I'm pulling it down. I felt like I was milking a cow. But eventually I was able to get the stuff out and it wasn't as hard as it in my mind, I'm like, this is stupid, <laughs> but it worked out.
Isn't she lovely? Now y'all, flaxseed gel, thankfully does not have a odor to it. It doesn't smell like anything to me. And this is how it looks after you squeeze all of it out. It's, um, like I said, very slime-like. It's soft, it's actually very moisturizing on your hands. Like, when I was putting my hands in it, it felt really good it felt like it felt better than putting lotion on your hands of course it's stick it's sticky so it was kind of hard but if you probably get a little bit of that and rub it in on your hands you might have the softest hands anybody's felt before i'm just saying overall it's thick it's shiny it's slimy it's gooey it's all of the above in the slime category it's all natural that's the best part of making this gel it's all natural you don't have to worry about any secret hidden ingredients it's all natural let's get down to the good stuff here's our aloe vera gel you see it has like a egg like consistency nothing like the flaxseed and then you have your flex seat gel and it's more like playing with kids in their slime their homemade slime so we're going to mix these bad boys together and make the most amazing gel that you've probably ever used on your hair in life now the benefits of this gel is up and out the roof it's good for moisturizing shine hold it's good for breakage it's good for growth it's if you put some oil in it you can get a better smell i will say that much but it is just all around a great you're going to whisk these two up together so that you can get that aloe vera gel and that flaxseed gel to mix really well you don't want it to be separated you want to mix it up really good and like i said the odor is because of the aloe vera gel unfortunately so i have seen some um, people put like rose rose water or not rose water or rosemary oil to preserve the gel but for smell i've seen tea tree oil jojoba oil castor or vitamin um i haven't i didn't do anything in this video at the moment but i did put some in afterwards and the smell was amazing after i put i put tea tree oil and peppermint oil in it smells amaze balls now so i definitely would recommend a oil after this I appreciate you all watching let me know how your diy gel turns out in the comments below please like comment down below and don't forget to subscribe also please check out my instagram at majestic curls underscore bless it